Hi guys, welcome back. So it is early this morning. It's only about 6 a.m. and about 46 degrees outside. So for a morning in July, that's pretty nippy. So I thought I would do some more physical activity today <laughs> and try to warm myself up. Um, so right behind me, we have some flower beds in front of the house. And I'm going to be ripping out, um, we have a bunch of shrubs, so let me show you what I plan on ripping out today. Okay, so right here we have a nine bark and a hydrangea tree. I will be leaving those two. Um, but right next to it we have a Wydelia, which is supposed to flower all summer long. Um, but there's no flowers and it's starting to go back to its mother plant there um so i'm going to be taking that one out then we have a spirea which i'll leave for now i don't love it but i'll leave it for now here's another wydelia same thing not blooming whatsoever and converting back to the mother plant so we'll be taking that out um i think i'll be taking this one out just because the barberry i love barberry i want to give it some room some space to grow um and it's kind of crowding in on the spirea so i'll be taking that one out i have a hydrangea which i'll be leaving taking out this wydelia again same thing it's not blooming um and you can see right here it's going back to its mother plant now i know you can just trim the mother plant off and it'll keep growing but i'm just not i don't love these so i'm gonna be taking them out here's a spirea i'll leave for now and then another Wygelia, which is the same as the other three, but it's completely gone back to the mother plant. And you can see some flocks I'm kind of laying out. Getting ready to plant here soon. I just like to lay some stuff out and think about it. There's some delphiniums back there. But anyway, so I think what I'm going to be doing is I'll probably be clipping off the plants and then um digging out the rip, rip ball because they're just so big and fluffy um i can't really see what i'm doing so i'll be clipping them off digging out the rip ball so let's go That looks so much better already. So much more open and there'll be room for me to tuck some um, smaller flowering perennials in there. Um, like I said, I have some flax over there, some delphiniums, and I have a couple um, leftover lilies from the other project that I did. So I might tuck a few in there, but so much better. I have a mess to clean up.
Okay guys, I got the root balls out. I got lilies planted. Um, I don't think I got any footage of the root balls I started. Um, <clears throat> but they were a beast to get out and I have them all right there. And I, I don't know, they were hard so I just stopped filming. And then once I stopped filming, I figured out a system of how to get it out. But then I planted a bunch of lilies and I think it looks so much better. So there I planted lilies. Um, there's a delphinium, but here's some more lilies that I planted and I think it will just look so good, especially when the lilies start to naturalize in the upcoming years, they'll start to produce more lilies and really fill in the space super duper well. Okay, it's starting to rain, so I'm going to call it good for today, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.